this guy is very, very good. Um, I've been using him to farm uh, the 8th anniversary co-op. Fortunately, I mean, I, I wouldn't have minded him getting him one more so I could give him 1k stamina. Just so he has a little bit more survivability because in the co-op, uh, there are chances, or I should say occasions, where if you're doing four Trojeros, all of you end up dead at the same time. Now, thankfully, I've built him a little bit uh, uh, different. I'm going to be showing you my more recent jackpot run. I haven't been farming it as much. I'm going to start doing some runs for a camera. Um, see if we can get a jackpot run in the video. But this is my more recent jackpot run right here. As you can see, I got 8,888 red super potions, which is a basically almost three. So they're like 112 away. So I'm just going to say three ca more characters if I have the droplets and the regular potions to do it. Three more power characters I can get to T20, which is very beneficial because I'm wanting to actually uh, go out of my way and you know get more uh characters so i'm actually thinking about farming a little bit more and spending some more orbs on this uh we are running out of time um we got 88 brave soul summon tickets as well which is nice i'm hoping like this is like if there's one reward i want more than anything in here it's 888 brave soul summon tickets because that seems too good and i don't think i just don't see them doing it again maybe until like 10th anniversary or maybe ninth anniversary they'll do 99 but wait <laughs> i just realized something if they do ninth anniversary and it's 99 of these and they do 10th anniversary and it's 100 it's just like one more than the previous one that would be funny but yeah so hopefully i mean if you go look at how many potions super potions i got look i'm almost at 700,000 large hp crystals it's to the point where i'm just gonna get rid of these probably sell the smalls sell the mediums and just get them out because to be honest at 999,000 uh this is you know it just you can't accumulate past that which is kind of unfortunate i kind of wish it would go past 999,000 but it would only show the 999,000 you would have more than that and maybe clicking on it would tell you the exact amount or something like that uh that's personally how i would like to see it but if you look down here I'm at 100k technique droplets. I have T20 some more characters off screen. So that's why my potion, super potion uh, and whatnot has dwindled and droplets a little bit. Uh, overall, very satisfied with this. So now let's get to some runs. I want to do some co-op runs. And then at the end, I'm going to show you some of the characters I T20. We got five days left, by the way. It's less than a week. That's why I'm thinking about trying to do maybe another thousand soul tickets worth. Uh, I just don't, like, it is very rare. Someone, like, <laughs> on uh, Reddit, if you guys are curious, go to Reddit. And there's some guy who got two, I believe it's two 888 Brave Soul Summon tickets. I believe, so that comes out to like 1,700 Brave Soul Summon tickets. Ideally, if that is possible, I want that. Okay, I don't know. I'm not sure if he had something to do or if he got disconnected for some reason. That happens. Usually an indicator that uh, that something's going to happen and it's not going to load fully. Hopefully that is not the case. But, yeah. So, I, that's, why, that's what kind of inspired me to go back to farming. After doing those 2,000 plus soul ticket runs, I kind of burnt out. You know, part of it was due to the horrible loading times our Lord loading issues with the co-op. I was having back to back, like sometimes like three or four runs in a row where I would end up having to wait. And some of the times the people didn't like go away right away. Like, you know, like, you know, the people that were not loading properly, they didn't leave the room right away. And so like on occasion, it would be like 20, 30 minutes and they still haven't left the room. And I'm, I was just annoyed. I was like, like not and fear infuriated like i wasn't furious or anything like that i was like i was just getting burnt out annoyed and it's like i i, I don't want to waste five soul tickets but at that point i was like I, I just realized 
Nah, just get rid of those five soul tickets. And it kind of sucks that Caleb does not give us back our soul tickets every so often. Like, if you did that... Right here, I'm going to use that. Yes, I don't kill the boss, but it kills away with a lot of the regular enemies. And this guy just falls pretty uh, quickly afterwards. It just makes it a little bit easier. I'm not always there when I'm farming, but if I am and I see it, I'll just like, okay, soul bomb. But, yeah, it just, you know, th this is honestly, I kind of lost my train of thought beforehand, but this is honestly like really good. Like 43, 25, 5, probably not going to get much. And yeah, there we go. So nothing that run. But I was just thinking, this run, or this 8th anniversary was just so good to me that I kind of wish, well not really wish, wish is the wrong word, I kind of would like it if the event went on for like a full month instead of just 20 days. Unless they have some other event that's coming at the end of the month, like, you know, after this, that's going to be kind of cool. Then maybe, you know, but this is honestly one of my favorite events because I was fortunate enough to get pretty lucky. In addition, of course, I did farm it a lot, lot more than most people did, so that probably also plays a role in it as well. I've gotten to the point where I've nearly had enough super potions to T20 50 characters. See right there. That's, that, 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 those Quincy's nearly killed my character and this sometimes finished me off those guys there. That's why I have uh, two last ditch survivals so I at least get two uh, more revives before I end up having to uh, spend one of those candies. I don't like spending those candies. I like to just collect as many of them as possible. But at least it's better than when you used to have to spend orbs. I mean, you still do if you run out of candies, but yeah. So my goal is to just try and get as many super potions as possible. And then I'm probably over time going to start grinding. Um, what do they call it? Those um, potions, droplets. Because I do want to get to the point where I think I want to start T20 like characters that I like or might use in Senkaimon floors. Or just characters that I have a playstyle like. For example, the adult Toshiro, the Thousand Year Blood War one. He's one that I would like to T20. Uh, third anniversary Yukiora. Same thing. Who else would I would like to T20? There's just there's just a lot of older characters that have a fun playstyle. I just want to T20 them. But at the same time, I don't want to use all my supplies, you know, in case new characters come out. So I like to keep like a good stock. So my goal is to hopefully try and get as many super potions and potions as possible. That was a pretty good run. I think now I am going to go show you the characters that I T20'd. Two runs, that's good enough to showcase Chojiro, um, you know. Because even when I wasn't getting, as you see, I didn't get any, um, what do they call it, any big rewards. Heck, even the smaller 88 Super Potion rewards I didn't get. But I did get uh, those potions and droplets, which makes it more like, you know, the lo more I build up of potions, speed potions and uh, speed droplets, the less I have to farm later on for speed. Anywho, so characters that I T20'd recently are this, I did this, uh, uh, whatever you call it, uh, Retsu. I did Tenzu Senketsu. Uh, where else? I finished her off. She was at 15, 15, 15, I believe, and I got her to 20, 20, 20. Um, where's the other one? Where are you? Ah, wait, no. I can't remember if I T20'd him. I definitely, for, I did T20 her. 20, T20'd him. 
I'm not sure if I had him T20 prior to the this or not. Um, I T20'd him. T20'd him. T20'd him. T20'd him. And that's pretty much... So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh... Seven, well, she already had some resources invested in her, so a little bit less than seven, but I'm just going to say seven. Eight and nine. So basically eight, nine characters worth of super potions invested uh, since 8th anniversary, you know, so since they started finding me 8th anniversary co-op. And I believe I have, like, how many super potions worth of characters, like super potions, so that's what I'm just gonna round that up to 2100 or 21,000 I should say that's seven that's 11 so that's 18 um that's five so that's 23 uh, put a thousand two hundred into that bring, bring it up to 30,000 so that's another 10 so it'd be 33 38 and then you have um, two here so, 40? So, if I can get another jack, couple jackpots, like, like or I should say, like, another run that has two super potions, 8,888, that'll bring up, like, 46 again. And I got, like, 20-some. So, I'm approaching my way to, up to slowly to having enough uh, super potions to um, max, uh, you know, to, to slowly get it to where I have 100 characters transcended. Uh, to t20 i will be doing another video probably uploaded around the same time as this one that one i think is gonna be more a bit more interesting uh so stay tuned for that thank you for watching have a nice day i'll see you guys next time peace